Now it was time for my first test in Tekken. Well, not necessarily a test, more like a quiz leading up to the test. My promotion match to assailant. Yeah, so this actually ended up being the laggiest match I've ever played in Tekken. Like, even after recording this, I've played a few more games and I have yet to run into a match this laggy. The first round was okay, but then it just went downhill from there. Goodness, I hope my match promoting to Mighty Ruler isn't like this. Nonetheless, we were still able to get the job done and beat this guy 3-0. And before I could even decline a rematch, it said that I couldn't connect to a server. Nonetheless, we finally yes, promoted sir. to a yes, sailor. Alright, so my first match in Assailant went pretty pretty well, is what I thought I'd be saying in this segment of the video. I'd be going up against a Lin Sai Yu, I think that's how you pronounce her name, who is a very, very strange character to play against, and this guy would take full advantage of that. But I get the feeling that at the time, this guy was just in way higher of a league than me, because he was doing stuff like low parrying, and his combos would last like nope. 30 seconds. I would lose the first game, and as you can see in the first round of the second game, I got beat pretty bad. And in the second round, you can hear how frustrated I get, because I just simply didn't know how to go against this character but then that music started playing <laughs> Well, it was fun while it lasted. After taking two rough L's, I would load into my next ranked game in which this would happen. Get ready for the next battle. Why? Oh my. Yep, they matched me up against the same guy. And uh, you can imagine that match didn't go that well. And best believe I wasn't rematching either. I don't care what y'all have to say about me. Get ready for the next battle. And so here I am, fresh into assailant and already at risk of demoting. But lucky for me, Tekken was on my side and they put me up against someone that was in Ranger, which is three whole ranks below me. And even though he was playing King as well, I felt more confident in my playstyle. The first round didn't go exactly how I wanted it to, but nonetheless, I was still able to get the job done. And in round two, I kind of picked up on the fact that this guy kind of likes to press buttons. So back one, two into the one plus four grab would basically carry me throughout the entire round. Off me, dude! And considering that he wasn't really able to get any combos off me, the map was pretty much on my side the whole time. In the final round, he would never fix the problem that he had of pressing buttons when he wasn't supposed to, and that, plus not blocking low at all, leads to a 3-0 victory. And in the next game, I had him figured out, so I pretty much beat him with ease. Yeah, I was not gonna let that happen again. That would have been embarrassing. embarrassing. <laughs> but now we're safe from demotion, and we even got a little bit of baby points out of it as well. Get ready for the next battle. So I've been on a pretty bumpy road so far in my time in Assailant. But just to make things even worse, I had to go against an Eddie Gordo, which is not only a really, really strong character, but is a character I've never played against. And the first round went exactly how I expected. He overwhelmed me pretty fast, and I didn't know what to do against it. Pause. Side note, I don't think I was in my right mind when I thought I was cooking with this customization. Now in the second round, I was actually able to get some good punishes in. And this probably would have led into a really good combo, but I didn't have any wall combos at the moment. After a while, I started noticing that he would do the same thing over and over where he would hit me and do this thing where he would fall over. So I was able to punish that with a mid leading into my bread and butter combo. And just when I thought I got a little comfortable with this guy, he would start doing moves that I've never seen before. And I didn't know how to counter them, so he would do enough damage to take the round. And uh, uh, I don't even want to talk about this. I would end up losing 150 points, and I bring this up because it's important later. In the first round of the second game, I started to realize that this guy was kind of like the lead that I played in the last video, in the sense that he was extremely aggressive, so I had to play my own game even harder. One thing that's tricky about Eddie, though, is that he does a lot of moves that lead him into staying low and ducking your high moves. So I kind of figured out that as long as you have the right timing, you're able to get some good punishes in against him. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get that timing down in the second round, and he would win the round by chipping away at my health a lot with the lows. To start off the next round, I would anticipate him pressing a button, which led to my bread and butter 
character combo, but then he would start doing yeah, more stuff again that I've never seen before, which led to it being a back and forth round that had us both at low health. He would Stupid. pop his rage art at the wrong time while I was on the ground, which gave me the idea to pop my rage art and win the round. The fourth round was a bit more passive because he started respecting the moves that I had, and I started catching on to his moves a bit more. I felt like an esports player getting this combo off, but it didn't really do that much damage, so it wasn't that cool. But my go-to back three move that usually ends the round huh? against other characters didn't end the round with Eddie because, I mean, it's Eddie for crying out loud. That is so crazy! So he would end up taking this round by luck. To start off the final round, I would do a grab that I've Grandma! never done before in my life, so I know that threw him off. And then I was able to get a good punish that led to a ton of damage, and this would kind of lead to him pressing buttons when he wasn't supposed to, and I would whiff a very quick low that led to him popping his rager and missing like a moron, which in turn gave me the round. And by winning this game, I would get a whopping 330 points. So going into this last game, I was super confident because I knew exactly how to play against him. <laughs> That is not what I wanted to do! It's as if the second game just never happened. Anyways, I only lost 150 points from that game, which means that even though I lost the set, I still came out with 30 points and some great experience against Eddie. So I was pretty content at the moment. After this, I would get some solid games in that would help me climb the ranks until I would finally get the long-awaited promotion chance. Get ready for the next battle! So here we are, in the same rank, going against the same character, on the same stage. But things were gonna be different this time. Guys, I plan on coming out with a lot more Tekken content, so if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. The first round was a bit bumpy because I was playing kinda sloppy, must have been letting the nerves get to me. But just like what happened with the last Eddie, I would whiff a move that would lead him to popping his rage art, which gave me all the time in the world to DROP MY COMBO, but still get the round either way. In the second round, this guy would show a problem that a lot of my other opponents had as well, which was pressing buttons when they were not supposed to, which in turn gave me a lot of great punishes that I needed, and then he would pop his rage art for seemingly no reason, which just gave me a free round. Now, I don't know if the last Eddie that we faced was just much faster than this one, because I was able to get these moves off perfectly, which led to a pretty dominant round. And with my biggest struggle in Tekken 8 so far, I would finally rank up to Dominator. Nah, no, why? Now, for the most part, my time in Dominator was going pretty Pretty smoothly, and I already earned myself a promotion chance. But then this would happen. <sighs> a Yoshi. The amount of buffoonery going on in this video has honestly been absurd. A mighty ruler? Really? Someone who was seven ranks above me? Tekken, last time I checked, I had my rank restrictions on three. How did this happen? And you do this on my promotion match too? Tell me why I almost beat him though. Anyways, best believe I wasn't rematching him either. Get ready for the next battle. After going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a mighty ruler, I was fairly confident going into this match, especially considering the fact that this guy was only in warrior rank. And Lily is definitely a character that I'm a bit more comfortable playing against. Before playing this game, I actually learned that you could do a leg drop after doing back three, which would win me the round. The story of the second round would pretty much sum up this whole video, and that's to not push buttons when it's not your turn. But don't get it twisted though, because obviously those rules also apply to me. But in general, this guy was just playing a little bit better in this round, and he would end up getting a clean round on me. But then then he would give the controller back to his younger brother who played the first round. And just like that, we got our promotion chance back. This time against someone that was actually in my league, Tekken. Now in the first round, I was able to get some good damage in doing the same thing over and over and over against this guy. But then I started playing a bit more passively because I thought he was going to pop his rage art, which led to him getting a good amount of damage on me. But I was still able to just win the round. Oh, and by the way, Lily has some weird sound effects. This guy would start off the second round doing the same Lily things that I've seen people do a million times. And at this point, I was kind of getting bored going against this guy because he simply made no adjustments to the things that I've been doing to him this whole time. Now, at the time when I was playing this, I didn't know that certain moves could force your opponent to crouch. So I got frustrated when I was doing down back two because I thought this guy was getting away with blocking low even though it was a mid. But in a very underwhelming victory, I finally got the job done. If you guys want to see my journey so far leading up to this match, I'll go ahead and leave the link to part one of this video in the description below. Red ranks, here I come, baby. Red ranks, here I come, baby.